The sixth and final skill that we're going to look at as we get ready for AP Chemistry is to be able to name and write formulas of compounds. Now this is one that you don't want to take for granted. In fact, it's so important I'm going to devote three videos to this. In the first one, we're going to keep it fairly simple and we're going to focus on binary compounds. Now when I say binary compounds, I'm talking about compounds that have exactly two elements in them. So for example, if you have a binary compound with two nonmetals, that would be uh, two elements from the, uh, the right side of the periodic table. We're going to call that a molecular compound. And if you have one of those, you want to use numerical prefixes like mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, prefixes like those to talk about how many atoms of each element there are. For example, if we have CO2, well, that would be carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide. If we have N2F4, we'd call that dinitrogen tetrafluoride because the di, you know, two nitrogen, so it's dinitrogen, four is for tetra, tetrafluoride. Notice that we change the ending of the last element to IDE, so it's not carbon dioxygen, but it's carbon dioxide. Change the, the ending of that last element to ide. This one we have phosphorus tribromide, like that. Notice that if the first element only has one atom, like we had in the, the first example and in this third example, we don't say monocarbon dioxide or monophosphorus tribromide. Basically for these binary compounds, we never start the name of a compound with mono, so we just say carbon instead of monocarbon. Uh, if we have one metal and one nonmetal, that would be one element from uh, the left side of the table and one element from the right side of the table, that would be an ionic compound. Now for ionic compounds, we don't use numerical prefixes, so don't use mono and di and tri and all that. Just name the first element, then name the second element, and change the ending of the second element to ide, ide. So for example, if we were to have NaF, that's just sodium fluoride, or ZnCl2, it's just zinc chloride. As long as it's straightforward like this, these binary compounds are fairly simple to name. K3P, potassium phosphide. Notice, we don't do anything with that three. We don't say tripotassium or anything like that. It's just potassium phosphide. Same thing here, aluminum oxide. Name the first element, name the second element. Now, going back to these molecular compounds, they have two nonmetals. So that means two elements from the right side of the periodic table. So if we have a name like this, sulfur hexafluoride, well, that's S. F6 because hexa means six of something. Or tetraphosphorus decoxide, well tetra means four, so it's P4. Dec or deca means 10, so P4O10 for that compound. Boron trifluoride, you know, tri means three, so it's BF3. So once again, just use those prefixes if it's a molecular compound. Iodine Hepta, this is one a few students forget about. Hepta means seven, so it's ICL7. Uh, selenium dibromide, di means two, doesn't it? So it's SEBr2. Back to ionic compounds, once again, one metal, one nonmetal. So if you see these, just hopefully you can go through these very quickly and realize it's calcium bromide. And once again, the goal is to get very good at these so that you just look at the names or look at the formulas and you see that name in your mind or you can say that name in your mind very quickly. Same thing here, magnesium nitride. Try to do that quickly. Silver sulfide. Sodium oxide. If you know the names of the elements like we had in our previous video, this should be very quick for you there. Aluminum fluoride for that one or ZNO would be zinc oxide. Li is lithium, isn't it? Lithium chloride. Magnesium iodide. 
Some students get a little confused because they forget that Mg is magnesium and not manganese. So be very careful on those names of the elements. BeO, beryllium oxide. Our last one here, cesium phosphide. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.